Can we call them strategies? <coughs> yeah, strategies. What is that called? Strategies. Strategies. Um, issues, factors. Yeah, yeah. Considerations. Yeah, yeah. Strategy for the requirement and for the architecture. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you want to start the topic? Okay, you want to start the topic? Yeah, five minutes. So you want to strike? Are we agree upon? Do I take it? for requirements modeling in DAD, which one should we try next iteration, next sprint? Mm -hmm. That's a typical scenario. I think for that five minutes we should take that, otherwise... Yes. Okay. That's yeah. five minutes. So that's yeah. last five minutes we can take some more discussion. So right yeah. one yeah. Are we already starting the, fi the five minutes? Yeah. Okay. How much time do you have left? Six and UML. Unified modeling language, right? And it's got 13 different types of diagrams. So you might go into that toolkit and say, well, I can hear it. Okay, it's like right. at the bo bottom of the list. So don't say that Mark recommends SRS. Please. <laughs> 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 don't tweet it. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> okay, I'll put it optional. Your okay. story is the way to go. SRS itself is optional. And this this strategy of uh, going for requirement will be part of one of the, when, when I change a certain life cycle, I will have the choice or it's not that. Actually, we don't create the choices by life cycle because okay. um, it would just get kind of messy because a lot of the user stories you can use are very cool. So we don't do a mapping of uh, practices in quite a place. I'll let you kind of figure that out. It's a process decision framework. So when you say life cycle, you say life cycle. Is that what you're comfortable with? In general, you're looking for an example. Component diagram. Yeah. I've got services, uh, subsystems that I want to plug together and what their dependencies and relationships are between them. That's a good diagram. A deployment diagram shows harbor configurations, right? The relationship between servers, nodes, and all those kinds of things. Um, you could 
could do things like sequence diagrams that's not really meant too much. You could do, as Scott would, would like to say, forget, I just quoted a couple of UML diagrams. You don't have to use UML, you don't have to use a, a, a standard modeling notation. You could do a reform diagram. Whatever your architects are used to drawing systems with, in Visio, or whatever. Just do it quickly, don't make it easy. Will you go to the second question? Third question? Okay. I can stick around for more after. But this is your question? Certification. Okay. We've got four levels. Uh, white, yellow, green, and black. And initially we did not have a, a, a white uh, certification. Um, the reason being, we didn't, when I say we, I mean Scott and I, didn't believe that you should get a certification. Green and black. Green. Without taking some kind of a test. Uh, there are other certification programs out there, Sperm being one of them. It's changed, but initially there was no test. And Scott made a joke years ago to say he could take, send his dog to a scrum class and tell it to sit for two days. And at, at the end of it, um, Ken Schwaber would have to make him a certified scrum master. <laughs> Ken didn't think that was funny at all. <laughs> he kicked him off the board. But anyway, so um, so we started with the yellow, green, black. But the feedback we got was that if people are going to invest in a two or three day course, they wouldn't like some level of certification. So we relaxed that and we introduced a white belt. And the rationale, is, from my perspective, the way I can justify it, is even if you take a karate class, they're going to give you a white belt, even though you don't know how to do anything. Because you have an interest in karate and you can take a road together by the way, right? So, so we have a white belt. It signifies interest, not knowledge. Yellow belt signifies knowledge. And for yellow belt, you do not have to go to a course, which differs from a lot of other certifications, like say, like we won't force you to spend money and go to a course if you have the knowledge. But you do have to take a test. So there's, there's a test fee, take the test. If you pass it, you're yellow belt. Yellow equals knowledge. Green. In order to take yellow, we have to have white, or it does not matter? Great question. No, you do not. If you go, so the website for the certification, by the way, in, in, in your handout, in your thing, there's a, a URL for it. It's disciplinedagileconsortium.org. Is that a service? Disciplinedagileconsortium.org? What is it? Disciplinedagileconsortium.org. Disciplinedagileconsortium. Disciplinedagileconsortium.org. Consortium. So I have a services company. I'm, I'm, I run Scott's business as a managing partner and a transformation coach. But the certification is a separate organization. Yeah. And uh, hmm. so yes, so you, you can go there. You can go there. You can go there. You You can go there to find out all information about certification, okay. including this website, the, including a link to the test. Okay. So you and go there and apply for yellow belt and take it to the test. And roughly, the rough cost of getting a yellow belt in that hundred dollars US. Okay. And the green belt test is too much. It's harder. Okay. You don't have to take training, but if you take a course, like I'm going to Bangalore next week, you get a free test. So the people in Bangalore, some of them, depending on how early they got in, are paying $170, they get to take the test for free. So it's a, it's a good deal, right? But, if you, but we don't force you to go to a course. If you want to just write the test, you got to pay the test fee, but you do not have to take the course. You take the course, you get free test. This um, Bangalore, you said, uh, what date is there? 1920. 1920 of this month. Next week. Yep. Any plan of coming in that day? Any chance of coming? Do you guys want me to come? I'll come. <laughs> so how do I find that out? Who wants no, to no. Come? Like uh, you are saying that you are conducting uh, testing uh, test oh. in Bangalore. No, no, you can take the test. I'm doing a course. Two day course. So if, you, if you take a course, you need not give the examination. The yellow belt will come along with the course. You'll examination fees. Free test. Fees. Fees. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. fees. Yeah. Yeah. Yellow belt, we, we force, you have to understand, we, it's a test for learning, not just to take a course. Okay, okay. So you have to pass a test. We do not have to go to a course. You have to pay your $100 test. Okay. If you go to a course, however, and it's yeah. at least two days long, yeah. you get a free test. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 And and oh, green so is the three experience. Three years pitch. of agile experience. Okay, you can take a test. Again, you do not need to write it out. If you have two years of agile experience talks. and you pass the green belt test, okay. you get green belt. Okay. And black? Black is, you've got to be a, a dad evangelist um, speaking at a conference like this, right? You have to believe, understand the value proposition that dad isn't one of the 10 certifications. You know, 
know, it's, we think it's one of the most valuable ones. You're an ethnically evangelist for the deaf community. And we will know black folks. We will see your activity out there on Twitter, LinkedIn. If you don't know, there's a LinkedIn discussion group for dad, right? It's got over 2,400 people there. Follow it, it's free, there's no ads. It's a great way and get engaged. Reply, ask questions. What's that hashtag? What's the LinkedIn profile? It's a LinkedIn group. LinkedIn, LinkedIn. No, yeah. LinkedIn group. Oh. It's a dad group only. It's a dad group. Mm -hmm. yeah. Name of that is dad. I think it's called this from dad. Huh? This is dad. dad. I know. You, you have to talk to all of us, right? <laughs> Before people ask the questions, I must have the answer. Okay. LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah, name, name, what's the name, 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 name of the 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 name any companies have adopted that, I think. Some organizations are already adopting this. Yes. Oh, yes. Lots. Big ones. And small ones. Because is, is it already... Uh, in India. Oh, in India. I actually don't know. And I wouldn't be smart. Well, of course, there's, Barclays has a, a huge office in Pune. I'm, I'm coming back to, to Pune next month to train people at Barclays. So, but, you know, just Indian companies, I'm not aware of any. But you know what? Part of the pro reason is I haven't been here before. Scott hasn't been here before. This is new to you all. My hope is to generate interest so that we'll come back more often, we'll get some local trainers, get some maybe folks certified. Because people like Barclays are asking for certified coaches and from masters, etc. So, Mark, one Coming. quick question. Uh, like, uh, uh, like, dad is quite new and safe is uh, presently in the market. Yeah. So, uh, the thing is, like, what do you see the future of dad in comparable to safe? Um, it's well, the flexibility. You know, he's reporting this, right? <laughs> I think that safe is a wave. Oh, you're not recording. No, no, <laughs> no. <it's laughs> no, I'm not recording. No, okay. I'm not. No, 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 you can't. I'm yeah. not saying it's going away. It is not going away. And Dean, in a, in a presentation in Brussels in January, said he's coming up with version 4.0. He cannot wait for version 8.0. That's what you're hearing from him is that it's a journey as well, just like Dad is. What's his name? Dean. 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 But unless unless he turns it into a flexible framework that has supports multiple life cycles, it's, it's, it is a, it is built for large 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 initiatives. And most the, the whatever the organizations are starting to figure out that's not what they have. They have lots of small teams, lots of medium sized teams, very few. John Deere, so 300 programmers working on one technology stack. So ask yourself if that's you. So if you're going to get certified, I don't know. I I think that becoming certified, <coughs> certified safe specialist could be a dangerous thing. I don't know how many organizations in India would standardize on safe. They might use it in certain areas, but probably couldn't diversify. Okay, by the way, if you know dad, you by definition know Scrum, Serious Delivery. Uh, we had a, a, a topic where it's on DAD, uh, Disciplined Agile Development. What does that add beyond safe? And the second one is strategies for requirements, architecture testing, and the certification. So uh, when he was uh, talking, so I was just jotting down the uh, salient points or the key points there, and uh, yes, uh, the friends also helped me. Uh, this is Dad versus safe. That's the first point. Uh, safe is not fit for different technologies like Java, C sharp, and different technologies you have got. It, it does fit for that. So that is one point that he mentioned. And maybe I should just clarify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, uh, yeah, yeah please. So, so what I mean is that in situations, if you had a hundred developers and ten of them are working in Java, and so ten of them are doing a traditional project with COBOL and ten, you know, get the idea, disparate technology is not a common technology stack, and and different skill sets, by the way, and different religions, some people like Bean and some people like Scrum, 
you try and get all those people working on agile release trains and integrating where really there's nothing to integrate because they're just fair technologies, SAGE isn't a particularly good fit. So just because you have 100 developers, yes, that's scale, but you probably want to execute them as small projects or medium-sized projects with integration points at certain points, but I don't think you need to inflict the overhead that SAGE has in those kinds of situations. Does that make sense? That's what he said, by the way, basically. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's the <laughs> second one is, uh, yes, uh, uh, I think he has covered a bit of that, basically. It is the choice of life cycles uh, and much continuously, like continuous life cycle, continuous life cycle is there, basically. A strong, lean, or DevOps, or different uh, uh, life cycles, you can merge together and uh, deliver the project, basically. Uh, the second one is to automate it, actually. I think that is something you are advocating quite a lot. You said about the automation part. The whole merger is automated. Continuous integration. Sure. I, I, I think what he mentioned is that, uh, uh, yeah, what, what uh, Mark mentioned is that DAD has got different options for different, let's say they are different kind of organization. And DAD offers a framework for different kind of life cycles which are there. So based on the uh, reality of the organization, how is it working, we go there, access, and then we have the option to look into that and say, okay, probably Scrum will fit in over here, or Lean is going to fit in here, or we will have DevOps too, if it is a very mature organization. What is automation there, actually? Yeah, something yeah automation that. is one of, the, he is talking about that automation can fit in over here. So yeah, okay. I think that was that was a context uh, which you, yeah, which you ma mentioned. Ma mainly homogeneous, heterogeneous environment where Every project is with different methodology or something. We can go with safe to integrate output of all projects and can no, follow. Dad, Dad, Dad will support that. If we yeah. go with safe, it may not support that. Correct. Yes, yeah, safe. Safe is on certain with certain organization. Yes, the safe framework will fit in. But in it, Dad, Dad, Dad offers a wider option right. for us to safe choose. Safe is only for uniform. Suppose if we have more than like hundred developers, everyone is working on same. Technology. Same way, technology. not technology. Yeah. Means, uh, maybe they can technology can be different, but they are, they are following lean. Everyone is following. Okay, lean. the life cycle. So same. then we integrate all the lean together. Then safe uh, safe can be implemented there. Okay, that is the thing. Uh, okay, so let's. Yeah, like, sorry, to be short. The bottom line is that safe is a pattern, right? It is a. I'm going to throw the prescriptive word out there. It is a pattern to follow, and. Thank goodness, as I, I said earlier, we needed that pattern. And it definitely works in some situations, but there's many situations it just simply does not. So just be careful, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, the second one was uh, different techniques for different uh, functions, like uh, you do the requirement analysis, you do the design, architecting, testing, validation. So for that one, uh, there are uh, some good tables given where uh, the different techniques are uh, given for that. For example, let us say for the requirements, you can go for stories or the use cases. So that sort of different options, I think 12, 12 15 options are there. Uh, and uh, it means it's giving that higher level of flexibility to use different techniques here. So that, what that has done is that we, have, we can choose at the high level, at the enterprise level, we can go and choose a life cycle. Now it also gives an option for the team level. At team level, what are the different cases which you can use? For example, you can use use case or you can use user stories. So at team level also, that will give an option uh, to, to in the to tables, more In issues. the tables, reference is given what is better option for. Yeah, that's what something is covered in the second point, basically. Yeah, and, and just remember that some of these are compromises, and compromises are seldom good, right? So we want you to use user stories, acceptance criteria. But if you need to do something else, we provide guidance to say hey, these options are probably better than these ones in these kinds of situations. And no other framework out there exists that gives you that kind of guidance. But try to try to be try to follow the spirit of agile. I can't say that strongly enough. Okay? This is not an excuse to do more process and to do things that aren't adding value. Be careful how you play. Yeah, uh, I think that point is elaborated in the second part of this one. The strategies for requirement. What are the different options that can uh, uh, that, that can be there. The business analysis, for example, you can business process modeling and notation language, or the business uh, uh, work, workflows, basically, or the UML, the 13 types of diagrams are there, state chart, use case diagrams. So how these different uh, uh, diagrams you can use or different uh, um, strategies you can use for requirement elicitation analysis, so that are the options that's there. 
But one thing is, uh, there, there is a word of caution that don't fall to the trap of doing too much actually. So in the name of the, doing all this, so you may end up doing that which is contrary to the agile uh, uh, way of working basically. Uh, on the SRS part also, it's not necessary that you, you need to uh, go through the uh, story, stories only. You, you can opt for the, any of the options like that. Right? As for the context, as, as a. Uh, as, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's something you and, can and, choose. And, and like last night, we were laughing about it, and then Mark made the very clear point to me also I, that don't use it as an option or an excuse. Yeah. Right? Software yeah. requirement yeah. specification, I threw that out there and I sort of bit my tongue. Um, we really don't want you to do that. In the, we order the selections, and it's like at the bottom of the list. Okay, But if you're doing an RFP, Sometimes you actually have to be more explicit about requirements than you really need, want to do. But try to do the rest of the life cycle agile. Right. Great. And uh, there are no mapping of practices to the life cycles, that's another point. And uh, just coming to the architecture, similarly, what are the different uh, options that's there? So in Agile, I think the, the architecture, so much time is taken, or it, it totally evolves. But here he says that upfront you should have some architecting, maybe at least for two weeks work on that basically and there are some uh, architecting options like uh, the component diagrams, the deployment diagrams or the sequence diagrams. Uh, um, uh, it's, it's the last one is uh, not use reusability like, uh, like UML, it's not necessary that you need to uh, use uh, the UML only, UML notations, you can use Visio for that matter actually. I think okay. that's, that's the so just part of it. Yeah, just different tools which are there for managing the requirement yeah. or handling the architecture and, and that gives the framework for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that gives that additional flexibility which you are comfortable in. Okay. And the third one was uh, certification actually. I think there were a lot of questions on that. Uh, uh, this, this, there are four levels of certification, white, yellow, green and black. The white one is uh, more of uh, signifies interest and not necessarily the whole knowledge and you should have that. It so takes basically like no test over two, here. Uh, yeah. Basically no test over No here. test, no exam for this yeah. uh, two to three days of uh, one one four. Like uh, if, you, if you attend a dad session, that also is mm -hmm. fine for that basically. The yellow one is uh, you must have knowledge and there is a test for that. There is a fee for that, $100. And uh, th there is a f um, website actually, Discuss Agile Consortium.com. Consortium no, no, actually, yeah. The, the discipline. Not discuss. Sorry, Discipline Agile. Yeah, this is that. Yeah, yeah. That should be Discipline Agile. Agile. Discipline Agile. Discipline Agile. Discipline Agile. Discipline Agile. Discipline Agile. Discipline Discipline. Okay. My correct. Okay. Uh, all informa uh, information and certification is available on that particular website, yeah. basically. And for the green, uh, you need to have two years of experience, is that right? And it's a uh, $200 uh, fees for that one. And uh, there is a black one, like uh, he's speaking in some forum, or you, you are an evangelist for that, actually. So that's a black one. So you are, you are an authority on that, basically. And uh, uh, there is one additional information on this, is that in Bangalore, uh, 19th and 20th June, um, he is coming and then he is giving that. Two days from now, thank you, commercial. Yeah. Uh, two, yes, two, two days course, okay. and uh, in that one, one thing is the fees is waived actually for the uh, okay. exam. So, if you want to have a discount for a Bangalore conference, then connect with Mark. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Saket or <laughs> The person who are here, Mark will give 50. And, uh, for the, safe people, can connect with me. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, there is a link, LinkedIn uh, group that's, that's disciplined as I'll uh, deliver it, basically. So. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, finally, innovation. So, uh, this group, so they moved here. They moved here and the same here. Team. So where is our team? Okay.